evening, everybody. <laughs> it's Wednesday afternoon, beautiful, beautiful sunny day, and I'm going to do a shorter video with you today, um, just a little midweek practice, to give you a little bit of energy, and a little bit of time for you. I'm still going to carry on doing my weekly class, I shall record it on Sunday mornings and share it with you and I've decided to do um, YouTube I've looked at all the alternatives and I've been into Zoom had a good look and for me it's a lot more practical to continue with YouTube because I really don't have the facilities to teach live in the evening from home and also I think it, myself I prefer it and I think if you've got it then you can you're free to practice for whatever time you want to and you can do it as much as you like. So that's great. I hope you enjoyed the first video anyway. And we'll continue every week. Good, so let's start. We're going to start seated. Take a few moments to be quiet to let the day go. Whatever your day's been like, whatever your week's been like, draw your shoulders up towards your ears and draw them. And a lovely straight spine. Palms can be up, palms can be down. I think it depends how you feel. If I feel more receptive, more open, palms up. Otherwise, if I feel a little bit introvert, palms down. So, whatever's right for you. And just gently shut the eyes. Let the breath settle. It might be a bit rapid or a bit shallow to start with. But as you let the day go, move into that quiet place. So be aware of your support. Be aware of your sitting bones on your block or on your mat. And as you breathe in, lengthen your spine. And as you breathe out, relax back down again. to let the day go, to shut that door in our minds because your attention isn't required elsewhere now. This is time for you. Simply being in this body, breathing and taking time to check that you're not holding anywhere. Your jaws are relaxed, your eyes are relaxed, your shoulders are nice and soft. And we'll do a few breaths together now, so come with me. So breathing into your tummy, up into your ribs, into your chest, into your back and pause. And a lovely long, slow, complete out breath. Draw the belly in and pause. Let's come again. Breathing up into the tummy, up into the ribs, up into the chest, into the back and pause. And a nice long, slow, complete exhale. Lovely long pause at the bottom of the breath. And a few more in your own time. Remember that those pauses between the breath are very important. Especially that pause at the end of the out breath. Let's deepen our breath a bit, so come with me again. Breathing up into the tummy, right up into the sides of the ribs, up into the collarbone area, between the shoulders, and a nice long, complete out breath. And remember the pause. 
down again into the tummy, into the sides of the ribs, into the collarbone area, between the shoulders and pause. And breathing out long and slow, navel to spine, take the pause. And just three more in your own time. Three more of these energetic breaths. breath settle and bring your attention back into the room and we're ready to start and we're going to start from seated I'm going to blow my candle out in case I set myself on fire comfortable seat maybe just perching your bum on the edge of your block and then your inner thighs inner knees reach out Good, so I'm mirroring you. Take your right hand down, open up to the left. For a lovely big stretch all the way through the left thigh and hold that. So just gently for now, palm can be up. I find that makes more space or not, it's up to you. Keep the shoulders soft. Breathing into the left ribs, making space. So important to stretch those muscles out between the ribs. They're called the intercostal muscles. And when we make space between those, it helps us have a more effective breath. If you're tight in these muscles, it can make your neck and shoulders very tight and affect your posture. One more breath, breathing in and out and lengthen the feeling of legs all the way through the left spine. Let's do three big circles. One, so comb in the air with your fingers. Two, giving that shoulder a little bit of lubrication. And on the third one, we do an open twist to the left, the inhale. The exhale on the diagonal, well done. And the inhale, a little bit more twist. And the exhale. And really opening up, gaze at your palm. Take it across, and this is different. Left hand caps right knee, right fingertips behind you, and we come into our simple twist. Breathing in tall, and breathing out, draw the belly in. Can you come a little bit further? Breathing in tall, and breathing out. So just imagine your tummy, your ribs, your chest revolving to the left and find your gaze. Just a bit of pressure maybe on that knee. Big squeeze, well done. Reach out your right arm, take it across, support it with the left, lift high, lift the arm even higher and look towards your right for a nice yummy stretch for your shoulder. Feel that. Sometimes you want to just be ironed out, don't you? I think, oh God, iron me out, iron the wrinkles away, iron the tiredness away, the tension sometimes, lift the elbow higher. So gorilla arms, this is fine, you can be like that, by my finger, or this, or you can take the bike, it's right for you. Let's take a few deep breaths here, take the elbows away a bit more, lift the arms up higher, breathe into the space between the shoulders, that breath. You know, we don't think about our breath in the back of the body too much, do we? We try it. And let's do a little bit of freestyle. So, oh, where's it a bit icky? Where are you a bit tight? You can go to the back of the neck and have a little bit of play here. Where are you a bit stuck today? Do a figure of eight. A 
top. And let's do a nice deep breath here. Breathing in completely right to the top of the lungs. And pause. And let everything go. <laughs> Squeeze the belly in. Breathe. Inhale, lifts us up, a nice big inhale, breathing in all that good stuff, and retain the in-breath, and let all the yucky stuff go. <sighs> Squeeze the belly in, maybe draw up Mulabanda, a little lift in pelvic floor, pop the chin in, and when you're ready again, one more. Breathing in beautifully deeply, right to the top of the lungs, between the shoulders. Take that pause. And when you're ready, oh, everything go. Navel to spine, lift up Mulla Bandha. Draw the chin in, hold the breath for a little while. And when you can hold it no longer. Give yourself a nice big hug here, a self-hug. Take a little rock from side to side, a little bit of self-love here. We all need that, don't we? And breathe. Just let it all go. Feel the breath in the back body. Feel the neck lengthening. Let the out breath soothe you. Very slowly, coming up, still keeping the mudra. Lift the forehead, the eyes, the chin. And a big inhaling up, grow tall. Exhale, connect to the earth. I'm just going to switch my phone off. I'm a a devil for leaving my phone switched on and it's just pink so I don't want it to, anyone to ring me. Let's do the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the cross of my legs and this might feel a little bit different, mightn't it? Shows how, you know, how we are in the hips. So just check you're sitting comfortably and I didn't say, and you know, you can always adjust to suit you. You can always change to suit yourself if you want to take your legs out or, or do that. That's fine if they're starting to scream at you. It will get easier, I promise, if you're just beginning. And I've forgotten which way I crossed my legs. I hope, hope that was right. <laughs> she's usually the one that's a bit different on top, isn't it? The one that doesn't feel so good the second time. Let's take your left hand down and open up to your right. I'm going to root down through the right side and feel that leg. Oh, do you know what? In my palm up or down. You just think, whenever do we stretch through the sides of the body? I can't think of any time in our everyday life that we do this side stretch. Not even when I'm putting the dog's lead on, do I? I can have the palm up or palm down. But what's happening to that left shoulder? Is it up by the ear? Drop it down. I need to bend the elbow a bit. Feel that space. So I'm pushing my left cheekbone, my, my right cheekbone down. My, and lengthen out the way. So many people are stuck in the way. Sit tight. And breathe. And feel how good it is to make space in places we don't normally make space. Yoga is all about making space. Well done. Three big circles. One, two. Just comb in the air with the fingers. You can follow the fingers with your gaze. And open up. Inhale. Exhale, take it across on the diagonal. And again, just feel, unfurl, and take it across, well done, and again, so good to move, isn't it? Let's cap the knee, place the fingertips lightly behind you, breathe in tall.
chest round man. Breathe in, breathe out. What about the shoulder? And finally, you're gay. Let's take five deep breaths here. Breathing in energy and breathing out, releasing any energetic blockages. I'm I'm looking to the front so you can see me. I don't know why, because I, I can't see you. <laughs> Perhaps I look round. So different than teaching in a class. And breathing in. And breathing out completely. Let's do two more. Breathing in energy and letting go of anything we don't need. And breathing in. And a nice long, complete out breath. Reach out a big stretch through the left arm. Just imagine you want to touch the wall. Good. Take the arm across. Lift the right arm up. Support it. Lift the elbow even higher so you get that yummy stretch. Look towards the left. And pull and squeeze, pull and squeeze, pull and squeeze. Let's cross above the elbows. It's left over right. This is perfect. You can make fists. You can do the mudra. Eagle arms, garuda arms. Let's take the forearms away. Feel the space you're making between the shoulders. Take a few deep, slow breaths into the back of the so our breath, we think of our breath, don't we, just in the front of the body, just in the chest, but it's all the way through the front, all the way through the sides, all the way through the back. And let's have a little bit of a, a bit of a movement here, a little bit of a play, a bit of a wiggle. Getting through any of those tight bits, anywhere you're a wee bit stuck in the neck, between the shoulders. Where are you a little bit tight through the sides of the body today? Let's do a nice big in breath, breathing in completely and pause. And let everything go. Oh, just so it can floating up. Inflating that balloon right up to the top of the lungs, right up to the collarbone area between the shoulders and pause and let everything go. <sighs> Retain the out breath. And one more, your very best breath, breathing in completely right up to the top of the lungs and pause. And let it all go. Squeeze <sighs> everything together. Hold the breath out. Engage your banda. So three locks. Mula banda at the bottom. Udiana banda around the belly. And Yalandara banda the chin lock. Brilliant. And when you can hold it no longer, just give yourself a lovely hug. And take a little bit of a rock. A little bit of self-care here. Feel the breath in the back. Lengthen the neck. Let everything go. But it's so hard to let everything go sometimes. You know, I think I think letting go is the hardest thing, isn't it? We want to be in control, we want to hold on. It's bloody hard, isn't it, sometimes? And let's go up really slowly. Oh, that's good. Big inhale up. And well done, you. You need to have a little bit of a stretch out now. I'm going to take a down dog stretch. So tuck the toes under. Press the palms down. Lift the knees. Come on to tippy toes, draw the ribs towards the thighs, lengthen the neck. And I'm going to take a slow walk. I don't know about you, I haven't had a practice yet today. Breathe in and out. And breathe in and out. There's so many lovely yoga teachers doing their classes online. There's a, a wealth of classes to do. I 
I'm going to carry on walking. I just might want to stay there and marinate for a bit. I'm coming down to find my music. You take a few breaths there. Itself up now and then come down really slowly onto hands and knees. Come to kneeling at the back of your mat. So I'll take this one so you can see me. Some of you have done these before with me a little mini, I call it the baby sun salute. and knees, draw the chest through, front of the feet on the mat, and take it back, exhale, inhale to kneeling, hands to the heart in the greeting, and we come again, the in-breath, lean back a bit more if it's right for you, lift your heart, exhale, take it forward, Inhale, into cow or up cat, look up, press the hands down, tuck the toes, lift the knees down, dog on tippy toes. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, heels towards the mat. Think about stretching them towards the back of the wall rather than down. Inhaling up, exhale, come down, stretch out the calves. Inhaling, raise up even more. Exhale, come down, you could lift the toes up the Spread them out if the heels come down. Press down through the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, gliding through gracefully, front of the feet on the mat. Take it back. A lovely stretch from the fingertips to the shoulders. Sweep the fingers to the knees. Hands in the prayer. Let's do three more rounds. Let's get a lovely flow. Breathing in, little back bend here. Exhale down. Inhale, tuck the toes down, dog, the in-breath, the out-breath. Breathing in, rising, breathing out, coming down, draw the ribs towards the thighs. Breathing in, as you breathe out, press your hands down, lift your toes. Onto the knees, draw the chest through, take it back, exhale completely. Inhale, rise to kneeling take your greeting. I think I've done three. I'm not very good at counting. We'll do two more. Breathing in. And exhaling. So remember the breath is the very essence of your practice. Coming into down door and exhaling heels down. Look at the thighs. Breathing in. And exhaling down. Keep the neck beautifully long and relaxed. And one more. And down. Onto the knees, front of the feet on the mat. Exhale back. Inhaling to kneeling. Hands to the heart. And one more. Flowing with the breath. The in breath brings us up. The out breath takes us down. On the hands and knees, chest draws through, pale lips. Tuck the toes under, down dog. Inhaling up, exhale. Maybe see if you lift the toes up as we come down. 
and breathing in and down. And one more, last one. And as you come down this lovely stretch from the fingertips all the way on the arms to the shoulders, onto the hands and knees, big stretch back. And this is different, hold it there. I quite like to take my knees apart and ease my sitting bones back towards my heels. You might want to bend the elbows and rest the forehead on the backs of the hands. Bend the elbows like that, rest the cheek to the side. Or you might be up for stronger stuff still and reach the arms out and come up on the fingertips. You might even drop chin to chest to the floor. Whatever feels right for you, take a few slow breaths. I'm just checking you can still see me. I'm not used to this um, videoing yet. This is only the second time I've done this. I haven't got a, a good cameraman <laughs> or the right setup. But it's better than nothing, isn't it? Nice, deep, slow breath. Getting that lovely length through the spine, through the sides of the body. That's what we want. Lengthening your tailbone. Allowing your chest to soften. And just starting to appreciate that space we made today. That space you've made physically and maybe a little bit more space for you in your life. More space for your body, more space for your breath, more space for your mind. Brilliant. Let's come up. And I only meant to do a 20 minute class and it's already 27 minutes. So let's just come and take a Shavasana. Cushion under your head uh, or under your knees. You might want to bend the knees if you've overworked the back. Whatever's right for you, take time to settle. Well done. Absolutely no rush. And when you are settled, maybe take a few slow, deep breaths to let the physical practice go. Have a little wiggle to check you're comfortable and so you don't need to move again. Good. And when you breathe in next time, just breathing in Breathing out, letting go. A nice big in breath and with the out breath, completely letting go from head to toe. And knowing this practice is just as important. In fact, I think it's more important than the whole of the rest of the class. We need to take time to absorb all the good work. So release any effort in your breath. Release any physical effort. Letting go. Shoulders relax, eyes gently shut, jaw relax. Gathering inwards, taking the awareness inwards now. No effort. Nice natural breath, the in breath, the out breath, those lovely pauses between the breath, or you can let go a little bit more. You can sink back further into the support of the mat and breathing in and breathing out. And next time you breathe out, just imagine letting go of any tiredness, any tension, any restlessness. Breathing in, breathing out, letting go of tiredness, tension, restlessness. Letting all those feelings leave the body, 
drop away through the mat into the earth. Let the earth absorb anything you don't need. Just allowing yourself to go inwards now to that quiet, still place inside. That quiet place inside that's always there. Sometimes we don't notice in life's busyness. But you know, whatever's happening to you on the outside or around you, sometimes you can't change it. Sometimes you can't change events or what other people say, but we've always got that lovely, quiet, still place to come home to. So let's just enjoy this silence now, this stillness, and your Shabbat. So if you have to stay very welcome, stay for as long as possible, as long as it's right for you. Otherwise, if you're going to leave the practice now, maybe take a few slow, deep breaths to breathe in energy and let that energy recharge you, revitalise you, get you ready for the rest of your lovely day or whatever time you're doing this. A few little stretches, a big yawn, whatever you need. And then in your own time, come and lay on your side. Put your hand down, feel the earth. Open your eyes. And slowly and gradually, don't rush, come back to seated. Beautifully tall, relaxed shoulders. Breathing in prana mudra. Prana means energy. Gather that energy up. Crown, brow, throat, heart. 
and keep it with you because you might need it later this week or somebody else might need it. Thank you for practicing.